This is a video for Visio 2010 about uh, producing network rack diagrams. Uh, be a series of videos. The first one uh, is about acquiring the stencils that are necessary to make the diagrams. Um, Visio 2010 comes with uh, some stencils of shapes uh, for producing rack diagrams that are provided by Microsoft, but they are pretty generic. And to produce a, a rack drawing that uh, shows specific equipment, um, there are ways of acquiring the uh, necessary stencils. We'll try going to manufacturers' sites and uh, there find uh, different approaches to getting stencils. Uh, as an example, uh, we're going to do a few different uh, brands of equipment. So I'm going to start out by looking for Enterasis. And uh, go to the products in this case. We're going to look, uh, I'm interested in some C series switches. And here we're in the C series C3. We're looking at the media library. It's going to vary from one manufacturer to the other. And here we see some Visio's stencils. So we've, uh, in the process of downloading the stencils, and we're going to end up in our uh, downloads folder here with uh, this zipped file. Now I'm going to go to a few other manufacturers here and do some downloading. Uh, we're going to try going to uh, Leviton. Video stencils. to a page. There are a number of different components and I'm just going to download all stencil. And just again put this in our downloads uh, directory. And uh, I'm also going to try Portronics. A number of manufacturers uh, do their stencils through NetZoom. NetZoom offers a subscription for a price, but there's also free stencils that can be downloaded. So here we have the form to be filled out. Uh, and this uh, will give us the download that we need um, for Ortronics. We'll just click on that. And it gives us the electronics download that we need. And so uh, the manufacturers are similar. Uh, basically just a question of searching um, for the uh, Visio stencils. And it can be found either through NetZoom or uh, direct download from the manufacturer's site. Now at this point, we'll go to uh, doing something with these stencils. I'm going to create some uh, directories here for these manufacturers. Stencils. And extract these files.
So now here we are. Uh, let's go take a look at these directories, and you can see that uh, these look pretty good. Now inside one from Leviton, we still have files that are zipped. So create a directory here. Take all these files. Move them into here. So I'm going to take, uh, let's see, extract those, and finally, one more, yeah, take some horizontal cable managers. Extract those. And now that's going to give me the ones that I want here. And I'm ready to go into Visio. Now, uh, here I'm in Visio. I'm going to start looking for some shapes. And I'm going to start out by going into that with electronics I'm going to download the stencil for some racks And this brings us in for me. And let's choose a rack to put here on my uh, rack drying. And this looks pretty good, except for the fact that, uh, that it's a little larger than what I want. Let me set this page up in my portrait. I'm not going to let Visio expand the page as needed. A little predefined size. Apply. And move our rack drawing down on the page. And I'd like to get my rack uh, as close to the size of the page as possible. So I'm going to change the scale of the page. Change to a custom scale. I think it's a pretty good size. That's uh, scaling the rack. Uh, I'm going to bring in uh, one other stencil item here. Shape. Full horizontal cable managers. And that's it for this part. Um, 
we'll go to the next part. We'll look at modifying some of these shapes that we bring down from Visio, and it'll be in part two. Um, for additional information, go to uh, drinfrastructure.com.